The most important technology in a generation has arrived, and it's called blockchain. Blockchain represents nothing short of the second era of the internet, and as such is going to have as great if not a greater impact than the first era. When you use the internet today to send and move information, you're not sending an original thing, you're sending a copy. Now that's fine for emails and for texts and so forth, but it's very problematic when it comes to assets, things that have scarcity like money or stocks and bonds. And so we've had to rely on middlemen even as the internet has created a peer-to-peer -peer network for information. Blockchain solves this problem. Blockchain enables for scarcity in digital goods. And the most exciting era of blockchain development today is in a space called DeFi or decentralized finance. If Bitcoin enabled two individuals to move money peer to peer without the need for a bank or other intermediary, then DeFi enables peer to peer models for basically every single thing that the financial industry does. Not just moving money, but storing money, getting access to credit, exchanging assets, getting access to growth capital, insuring against catastrophic risk. FinTech is a new user interface that allows you to interact with the old financial world. DeFi is a new foundation. It is a new superstructure that allows us to reimagine the financial world as we know it in a way that is more transparent, more efficient, more fair, and ultimately more democratized, meaning more people can access it. In only a year and a half, the total value in DeFi projects has grown from around a billion to $150 billion. Uniswap, which is a decentralized exchange that sometimes does more daily volume than Coinbase, MakerDAO, and DAI. Its daily volumes often exceed that of Venmo. All of the different building blocks of the financial industry, in short, are being disrupted by DeFi. And I, for one, feel very fortunate to be a part of it.